Tyson here, Tyson's Mud Fossil Adventures. Do another video here today. Um, I've got this giant mud fossil tendon here that I noticed along the railroad tracks. And I'm going to show you this tendon with a transitional change above it. There's a road above me up here. There's a guardrail. So I'll be able to go up there and show you a transitional change on this tendon. But here's the railroad track, and I wanted to show you how big this thing is. This is a giant mud fossil tendon. And you can see the layering here. And up above. Now I'm going to go up above up here and show you the transitional change above. I believe we're dealing with a... Greg Morrison on the East Coast is dealing in Tennessee. They're dealing with a dragon. And I believe that's what I'm dealing with here is a dragon. Um, I believe the muscle... The muscles aren't here no more because they would have been eaten away in the bone. But I believe the muscle would have been off the side and would have filled in the valleys. That's where the muscle would have been out in here. That's where the muscle would have been, in my opinion. But this is a massive tendon. And there's the other line up there. But that's what I'm dealing with here. Uh, dragon tendon. I know it sounds crazy, but geology's biology. And it's just something we're gonna have to get used to. Um, Time will tell for a lot of people. Okay, I'm gonna go up above up there. And shoot some more video and show you the transitional change. Okay, here's some of that transitional change. I just came from down there on the railroad tracks showing you the tendon. And here's the transitional changes above on this road here. I can drive right above and look at this. Look at the difference. See the change? And I'm right above the, the tendon below me.
Okay, I'm going to go up there in the corner and there's some more up there. Okay, here's that transition I really wanted to show you. That tendon's right below me. I was right down there. This tendon that I was showing you is right down below us. So I'm right above it here and look at this change. This transitional change. See this, it runs all the way down. And that runs all the way up. And then look at this on top of here. Look at that. Look at those round holes. See those round holes? I don't know what those are about. Another one there, huh? Never. Got round holes here too. Huh, I don't know what those are about. They go clear back. Look at these round holes. What the heck are these round holes? Look at these round holes. I just noticed these. I don't know what these are. These go clear back in. Oh, they're drill marks. When they drilled this and uh, shot the corner with dynamite. That's what that is. I'd imagine. But anyway. This is something else. Look at this. Got another one up there. So geology is biology. Okay, I hope that helps make sense. And so the kind of the way that I understand, I'm trying to figure this out myself, this mud fossil, since they're so big. And the way I'm kind of understanding it myself now is the muscles and the bone are gone because they've been eaten away by salt water. So down in these draws, 
I believe, like the things I've been finding with the tendon entices and stuff like that, that down in the draws, from canyon to canyon, would be full of muscle and connected to the sides with the tendons and everything. So down in the draws would have been the muscles and everything. That's where that would have all been. Down in here would have been full of muscle and tendon fibers, things like that, that's been eaten away. But they would have connected to the sides of the wall. So the tissue, you know, if you've ever seen a dead animal in a ditch or anything, after a couple of weeks, everything's dissolved underneath the tissue. And then the tissue just kind of lays down on top of the, the skin just lays down on top of the animal. So that's what I believe is kind of going on. Um, and you got the tissue laying on top. I hope that helps explain things. But I believe that the muscle now would have been down inside, down in the draws, down in here. And they would have connected to here and have filled in this part. And then the skin, skin would have been on top. Anyway, that's how I'm kind of understanding it now with the stuff I'm finding. So I hope that makes sense. At least as much sense as I yeah, can Yeah, we just headed it. back towards my home and I noticed another big tendon alongside the road with by the railroad tracks here so I want to get a picture of this one too to add on this is about oh a mile I was just over there the last tendon and this is where I'm at with this one here so that's how far apart they are look at this one here these are the railroad tracks that, Look how it just kind of bellows out. But this is another big tendon. And the river's right there, so this, I believe that the muscle would have filled in here from side to side. Because we're dealing with a, a dragon. You've seen. Roger Spur of Mud Fossil University, you've seen his dragon in Morocco. And then Greg Morrison in Tennessee, he's got a dragon there on the east coast. And we've got one here on the west coast. I'm in Oregon. And we've got one here too. Look at this transition change, look at this. That's in between, I believe that would have been the synovial sheathing or fascia is what that is. Look how thick it is. Can you imagine how big this critter is? Anyway, so I thought I'd put this one in here. Okay. So it just keeps on going, keeps on going on that way. These things are massive. So, we've got our own dragon out here on the west coast too. So geology is biology, and the world's going to have to wake up to the truth, or not. But to find out more, uh, go to mudfossil.com, Mud Fossil University, Roger Spur, and learn more about this amazing discovery. Thank you. Have a great day.